Okay, so the first step is to create a new layer above the original image, and you can name it Fangs. I'm gonna be using the pen tool to create the shape of the fangs. I will start from here and try to make the shape of the left fang. And just a quick tip for the pen tool, you can see that I can click and make a point every time, but I cannot see any preview of what I am doing. So there is an option called rubber band and you can enable it if you click on this icon and tick this box here. Now if I continue to create points, I can always see a preview of my lines or curves and that's helping so much. Back to the fangs layer now, you can start creating the shape with the pen tool. I will try to replicate what I've done in the original edit. When your selection is ready and you still have the pen tool selected, right click inside the path you've just created and choose make selection. Enter a 0.5 feather here then click OK. For the next step you can choose the clone stamp tool. Make sure you are working on the fangs layer, reach up to the top bar and you will see this area called sample. And from this drop down select current and below. This means you can clone stamp on this layer by sampling pixels from the layers below. So being on the fangs layer now you will sample pixels from the background image and that is so cool because you work non-destructively. You will have to sample a lot of times here because there are highlights and shadows which need to look real. You can hit undo or use the step backwards command from the edit menu or by using the shortcut and try again if you can't succeed from the first time. It's not the easiest thing but it's a good exercise to anyone. I usually don't use clone stamping very much but in this case where the area is not so big the clone stamp is doing the job very well. So sample from the top of the tooth and bring pixels on the bottom area in your selection until you create a good looking image. That looks pretty awesome. Keep in mind that in order to make this real you have to maintain some darker parts on the margins of the tooth to create that natural 3D look. Okay so you have the left tooth ready and basically you'll have to repeat the same steps for the right tooth. So step one, create the path with the pen tool, take your time with it and make a nice shape. Then create the selection with the 0.5 feathering and hit OK. And then choose the clone stamp again and do the job by pushing those pixels downwards by sampling from different areas on the tooth. I say this again, you may have to undo a few steps, it's not guaranteed that you'll have a good result from the first time. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the second part of the Halloween tutorial. At the end of the video, you'll have a link to the Creepy Black Eyes tutorial. Make sure you hit the thumbs up on this video too, that will help me so much. And please subscribe for more well-explained tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, and enjoy your Halloween.